if you're gonna make a spinach and strawberry salad, make it be this one because it is so good. And I think that the secret to this one is there's a combination of sort of salty, briny feta cheese and toasty sesame seeds to balance out the sweetness of the strawberries. And for a little more crunch, some toasted almonds. It's fantastic. And trust me when I say that because I don't even usually really like spinach salad. Start off by hulling and slicing six ounces of strawberries, thinly slice them. All right, set the strawberries aside and make your dressing. You do that right in the bowl that you're gonna toss your spinach so that everything comes together right there. A tablespoon of white balsamic. I like the sweetness that you get from this, but if you don't have white balsamic, just use white wine vinegar and then add a pinch of sugar and you should approximate the flavor. Two tablespoons of olive oil and then some salt and pepper. Crumble in about two ounces of feta cheese. Don't make it too broken down because you're gonna toss your salad with this and so it's gonna get broken down more. So leave it kind of big. A tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds. These are white sesame seeds, so they're nice and golden. About a quarter cup of almonds that have been toasted. Chop those, not too finely, just so that you're not getting one big hunk of almond in every bite. But please make sure that they're fully toasted. No white on the inside. They should be like a pale golden. Those can go into the bowl with the dressing. Fantastic salad, the strawberries can go in. If you want your dressing to taste a little bit more like strawberry, just take the strawberries and the vinegar and macerate them for like 10 minutes before you add the rest of your stuff. Then the juices will really get pulled out. It will, however, make your dressing a little bit red, which might freak people out. Time for the spinach. About four cups of baby spinach. You can use any spinach that you like, just nice tender leaves. Flat leaf spinach works as well. I guess the curly spinach wouldn't work that well, but I don't know, how many of you use that? I like it. It's actually my favorite kind of spinach, but I feel like people like to buy the stuff in the containers better. And that's it, your salad is done. I, I, I honestly really love the way the little sesame seeds sort of coat the leaves of the spinach here. It takes it just to that next level that I think is really important. And if you're gonna make a simple salad like this, it should be really, really special. I think I'm giving myself all the strawberries. Now that's not very nice. Little leaf on top, little nuts on top, and you are done. It's a super simple, but very elegant and highly delicious salad. It's strawberry and spinach salad with, you know, just a little bit of Sarah touch. Enjoy.